Kendall Nicole Jenner is an American model, media personality, businesswoman and socialite. Jenner is the daughter of Chris Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner, and rose to fame in the reality television show Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Jenner began modeling at the age of 14. After working in commercial print ad campaigns and photo shoots, Jenner had breakout seasons in 2014 and 2015, walking the runways for high fashion designers during the New York, Milan, and Paris fashion weeks. Jenner has done multiple campaigns, editorials and cover shoots for Love and various international Vogue editions, and is a brand ambassador for Estee Lauder. Jenner made her debut at number 16 on Forbes magazine's 2015 list of top earning models, with an estimated annual income of 4 million US dollars. In 2017 Jenner was named the world's highest paid model by Forbes, ousting model Giselle Bunchen who has been leading the list for more than 14 years, since 2002. Chapter 1, Early Life Kendall Nicole Jenner was born on November 3, 1995, in Los Angeles, California. She is the daughter of television personality and businesswoman Chris Jenner, and retired Olympic decathlete champion Caitlyn Jenner. Jenner's middle name was a tribute to Chris's best friend Nicole Brown Simpson, who was murdered just before Jenner was conceived. Jenner was raised in a stepfamily with a younger sister, Kylie, and eight half siblings. Jenner is half sister to Bert and Casey Lynn Jenner through Caitlin and first wife Christy Crownover. Through Caitlin and second wife Linda Thompson, Jenner is half sister to indie pop singer Brandon and the Hills actor Sam Brody Jenner. Through Chris, Jenna is half-sister to reality television celebrities Courtney, Kim, Chloe, and Rob Kardashian. Jenna was raised with her sister and the Kardashians in Calabasas, an upscale suburb west of Los Angeles. Jenna attended Sierra Canyon School before switching to homeschooling in order to pursue modeling. She graduated in 2014. In May 2014, Jenna purchased a two-bedroom, 2.5 bath condominium in Los Angeles for 1.4 million US dollars. Chapter 2 Section 1 Rise to Fame In 2007, Jenna, along with her parents and siblings, Kylie, Courtney, Kim, Chloe, and Rob, began appearing in the reality television series Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which chronicles the personal and professional lives of their family members. The series was successful for its network, E!, and has resulted in the creation of numerous spin-offs including Courtney and Kim Take Miami, Chloe, and Lamar, Courtney, and Kim Take New York, and Courtney and Chloe Take the Hamptons, in which Jenna has made multiple guest appearances. Chapter 2, Modeling Chapter 3 Section 1, 2009-14, Debut and Breakthrough Jenna began modeling at age 13 when Wilhelmina Models signed her on July 12, 2009. Cinematographer Nick Saglimbani directed the photoshoot for Jenna's Wilhelmina portfolio. Jenna's first modeling job was the Rocker Babes with a twist campaign for Forever 21 in December 2009 and January 2010. Jenna featured in a Teen Vogue snapshot on April 19, 2010. In September 2011, Jenna walked for Sherry Hill during Mercedes Benz Fashion Week. By the end of 2012, Jenna had covers on American Cheerleader, Teen Prom, Looks, Rain, Gen Lux, Love Cat, and Flavor Magazine. And booked campaigns for White Sands Australia, Leah Madden, and Aqua Bendita. In November 2012, Jenna teamed with Victoria's Secret photographer Russell James for editorial work and joint projects. Over the course of 2013 and 2014, their work together surfaced in Curve, Ms. Vogue Australia, and Harper's Bazaar Arabia. Jenna featured in James's Nomad Two Worlds, Australia book launches in Sydney and Los Angeles. Jenna's editorial work signaled a change of direction to high fashion, and Jenna signed with the Society Management on November 21, 2013. Jenna walked her first Society Management bookings for Marc Jacobs, Giles Deacon, Givenchy, Chanel, Donna Karan, Diane von Fustenbeck, Tommy Hilfiger, Fendi, Ports 1961, 
Bottega Veneta, Pucci, Dolce and Gabbana, Sonia Reichel, and Balmain. Jenna participated in two Chanel public relations events in 2014, one, a feminist rally-themed Chanel event, and two, the company's Metiers Da in Salzburg. Jenna shot covers and editorials for Interview Love, and Teen Vogue. Jenna was cast in campaigns for Givenchy and a December-themed Love Advent calendar promotion with Doug English. In November 2014, Jenna became an official Estee Lauder representative. Jenna was hailed as the It Girl of the Season by Love editor Katie Grand. Chapter 3 Section 2, 2015-17, Success In 2015, Jenna walked for Chanel, Alexander Wang, Diane von Fustenbeck, Donna Karan, Vera Wang, Michael Kors, Mark Jacobs, Oscar de la Renta, Giles Deacon, Fendi, N Degrees 21, H&M, Balmain, the annual Dosso Dosi fashion show in Antalya, Turkey, Givenchy, Elie Saab, and Ports 1961. Jenna took part in publicity campaigns for Balmain X H and M and walked in the 2015 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. Jenna shot covers and editorials with Marie Claire Indonesia, Harper's Bazaar, GQ, Vogue China, Love, and Vogue Issues in Japan, France, and America. Jenna featured in campaigns for Marc Jacobs, Karl Lagerfeld, Fendi, Balmain, Estee Lauder, a political campaign for Rock the Vote slash Independent Journal Review voter registration, and a second love advent calendar. Jenna signed contracts with Calvin Klein Jeans in March and Penshop in May. In 2016, Jenna and Cara Delevingne were recreated as wax figures for Madame Tussaud's London Fashion Week experience event. Jenna walked for Chanel, Diane von Fustenbeck, Vera Wang, Michael Kors, Marc Jacobs, Fendi, Versace, Bottega Veneta, Balmain, Dior, Elie Saab, and Miu Miu. Jenna shot covers and editorials in Vogue Brazil, W Korea, Love, Vanity Fair, V, Self Service Magazine, and Harper's Bazaar. Vogue's editors devoted a special edition editorial supplement to Jenna in April. Jenna had campaign features for Mango, CPS Chaps, Calvin Klein, Rock the Vote slash Independent Journal Review, and Denim Lab. Jenna announced her signing to Chilean retail chain Paris in April. Jenna's 2017 campaign for La Perla caused some controversy when she had to cancel a previously scheduled appearance as a Victoria's secret model due to her new affiliation with La Perla. Chapter 3 Section 3, 2018 Present, Supermodel Status Jenna made her debut at number 16 on Forbes magazine's 2015 list of top earning models, with an estimated annual income of 4 million US dollars. In 2017 Jenna was named the world's highest paid model by Forbes, ousting model Giselle Bunchen who has been leading the list for more than 14 years, since 2002, Jenna is considered one of the main representatives and promoters of the era of Instagirls. Chapter 3 business career. Jenna created two signature nail lacquers for the 2011 Nicole by Opie Kardashian Colors nail polish line, for which the Jenna sisters eventually earned a combined US dollars in endorsement profit. On March 16, 2012, the Jenna sisters were named creative directors of the Gillette Venus Gets Ready with Kendall and Kylie Jenna webisode series, which was originally aired on Gillette's Facebook page. In July 2013, the Jenna sisters formed a partnership with Pascal Muad's Glam House to create the Metal Haven by Kendall and Kylie jewelry collection. In February 2014, the Jenna sisters launched a shoe and handbag line under Steve Madden's Madden Girl line for Nordstrom. The Jenna sisters previewed the Kendall and Kylie collection with Pac Sun on November 15, 2012. The collection launched in February 2013. On February 3, 2015, the Jenna sisters confirmed Kendall plus Kylie collaboration with Topshop, which they unveiled in November 2015 at the Chadston Shopping Centre in Melbourne, Australia. The collection launched in New York on February 8, 2016. On April 27, 2016, 
the Genesisters previewed a summer swimwear collection. In September 2015, each of the Jenna and Kardashian sisters released paid subscription mobile app websites in collaboration with Whale Rock Industries. Jenna's website was nominated for an International Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences 2016 Webby Award in April of that year. The Jenna sisters partnered with Glue Mobile to develop an app spin-off of Kim Kardashian, Hollywood, the Kendall and Kylie app launched February 17, 2016. In June 2017, Kendall and her sister, Kylie, launched a line of vintage t-shirts on their website for their lifestyle brand, Kendall Plus Kylie. The shirts retailed at $125 and featured logos or images of famous musicians or bands with bright images or logos associated with the Jenners superimposed over them. The shirts were met with criticism from the public, as well as several cease and desist letters from the estates of the musicians and artists that were featured without permission. The photographer whose portrait of Tupac Shakur was used has since sued the Jenner sisters for copyright infringement. The sisters pulled the shirts from their website and issued a joint apology, to anyone that has been upset and or offended, especially to the families of the artists. In June 2020, the Jenner's sisters addressed reports that their fashion brand Kendall Plus Kylie has failed to pay factory workers in Bangladesh as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. It was reported that Global Brands Group previously listed the Kendall Plus Kylie brand on its website. As a result, the Jenners stated that their company is owned by a separate entity known as 3,072,541 Canada Incorporated, even though they say that their brand has worked with CAAGBG in the past, in a sales and business development capacity only and that they do not currently have any relationship at all with GBG. Jenner has partnered with Moon, an oral care brand created by Sean Neff of Neff Headwear. Jenna helped create one product for the brand, the Kendall Jenner Teeth Whitening Pen in April 2019. In 2019, Jenna made a partnership with the skin care company Proactive. In January 2020, she confirmed that a cosmetics line in collaboration with her sister Kylie Kylie Cosmetics was in the process. Kylie Cosmetics launched Kendall Jenner X Kylie Cosmetics on June 26, 2020. In October 2020, she launched a stain removal toothpaste in collaboration with Moon and designer Heron Preston on a limited edition orange stain removal toothpaste, with just 350 units available on online marketplace stock. This collaboration simultaneously marking stock's debut into the personal care-slash-beauty realm. Chapter 4 – Other Ventures Beginning 2015, Jenna featured in a series of commercial ads for various products including Jenna's signature Pure Color Envy Matte Sculpting Lipstick. Jenna has also promoted various other non-signature products from the product line throughout the year. In February 2016, Jenna and beauty blogger Irene Kim became guest editors for the Estee Edit, accompanied by a signature eyeshadow palette. In 2016, Jenna began a career as a photographer. Her first published work was photographing and styling Kaya Gerber, daughter of supermodel Cindy Crawford, for the 16th anniversary issue of Love. Jenna began her reality television career in 2007 as a supporting actor in her Blended Family Z program Keeping Up with the Kardashians and its subsequent related spin offs Courtney and Chloe Take Miami, Courtney, and Kim Take New York, and Chloe and Lamar. In 2010, Jenna was cast in boy band One Call's Blacklight video along with Ashley Benson and Kevin McHale. In 2012, Jenna appeared as AJ on the Hawaii 50 episode Ika Wa Mamua. Jenna did voiceover for the character Strawberry in the High Fructose Adventures of Annoying Orange episode Shakespeare Agus Spear, which aired on January 20, 2014. In August, 2014, Jenna appeared in Singer Party Next Door's video Recognize with sister Kylie Jenner and rapper Drake. Jenna made a cameo appearance in the heist film Motions 8, which was released on June 8, 2018. 17 magazine featured Kendall and Kylie Jenner as style stars of 2011, and selected them as style ambassadors for the magazine. In 2014, the Jenner sisters co authored novel Rebels City of Indra with ghostwriter Maya Sloan. On May 24, 2016, 
the Regan Arts Division of Fiden Press announced that the Jenner sisters, Elizabeth Kilman Roman, and Catherine Kilman created Time of the Twins as a sequel to Rebels, City of Indra. To be released November 15, 2016. Chapter 5, Personal Life. She started dating NBA player Blake Griffin in summer 2017. The two broke up in April 2018. In June 2018, Jenna began her relationship with basketball player Ben Simmons. The couple split in May 2019. In November 2020, Jenna faced large public criticism after having a birthday party with a hundred plus attendants during the coronavirus pandemic. The party was attended by many celebrities, including Justin and Haley Bieber, The Weeknd, and Winnie Harlow, despite Los Angeles County having a safer at-home order in effect. Jenna's mother responded to the criticism, telling Andy Cohen, We are really responsible, and we make sure that everyone in our family and our closest friends are tested religiously. So you know, we do what we can, we, we try to follow the rules. Chapter 6, Public Image Jenna was named as one of People magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People in the World on April 9, 2014. Time magazine named the Jenna sisters as two of the 30 most influential teens, once in 2014 and again in 2015. On December 16, 2014, Google named Jenna as the second most Googled model in the world. Jenna debuted at number two on FHM's annual 100 Sexiest Women in the World list at the end of April 2015. Tumblr named Jenna as its most reblogged model for 2015. In November 2017, Forbes listed Jenna as the number one highest paid model in the world. Chapter 7 Section 1, Impact of Viral Promotion Upon Fashion E-Commerce Jenna's rapid career ascent led Dazed Magazine's editors to rank her top creative to watch out for in 2015 on their annual Dazed 100 list, Jenna collaborated with the editors on a Mean Girls-inspired Burn book parody, which responded to her online critics and industry detractors. The video was later shortlisted on September 22, 2015, for the International Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences annual Lovey Awards in the Internet Viral Video category. The rapid ascension of the Instagirls has accelerated a decade long reassessment of the interaction between fashion and mass consumption. Jenna's adeptness at connecting with millennials online has given her access to a large demographic market, with the ability to segment her fanbase and find ideal clients. Designer Sally Laporte claimed Jenna's approval of her line helped the designer key into the particulars of her ideal buyers. Former Calvin Klein Women's Creative Director Francisco Costa praised Jenna's social cachet, her social media reach is just incredible as a house, you become part of the culture by embracing someone like her. Jenna's ongoing participation in Calvin Klein promotions have proven to be profitable, as parent company the Philips Van Heusen Corporation announced a 13% increase in net sales over the previous year's, first quarter on May 26, 2016, with the financials also indicating a 10.5% increase in revenue as reported over the previous year's quarter, and a 20.1% increase in constant currency earnings before interest and taxes over the previous year's quarter. According to CEO Emmanuel Kiriko, Increased earnings reflect restructuring of the company's global creative strategy for Calvin Klein and its associated hashtag MyCalvins ad campaigns. Other brands have adapted to the impact of high profile influencers on their promotional efforts. Dear Francis Footwear brand creative Jane Francis engineered an open door branding strategy in such a way that her brand is able to successfully do promotional work either with or without influencer input. European ice cream company Magnum moved aggressively into online branding initiatives by featuring Suki Waterhouse and Jenna as company spokesmodels. Even without a sponsorship deal, Kendall's fashion choices can have an impact, as seen by fashion brand Rat and Boa, who had a boost to sales when Jenna wore a pair of their shorts at the Coachella Festival. In the midst of these changes, tech entrepreneur Frank Sparda Fora designed his company's Demarie app as a fashion industry specific Q score alternative in order to effectively measure the monetary imprint fashion influencers and brand ambassadors are able to attain. The app's deployment worked to Jenna's advantage, 
She ranked as Marie's number one fashion influencer across all categories as of February 19, 2016, with the ability to earn between US$125,000 and US$300,000 for a single update to her social media platforms. Chapter 7 Section 2, Cutra Lawsuit On February 10, 2016, Lawyers representing Jenna Incorporated filed a $10 million lawsuit against aesthetic medical company Cutra at the United States District Court for the Central District of California. Jenna's legal team objected to the company using her brand without authorization. Cutra had featured Jenna in ad campaigns for its laser genesis acne treatment. In May 2016, Jenna's attorneys dropped the charges. Chapter 7 Section 3 Fire Festival. In 2017, Kendall Jenner was paid $275,000 for an Instagram post announcing that some members of the G.O.D. music family would be performing at Fire Festival, and that her followers could buy tickets using a discount code she provided. The post, which has since been deleted, was not tagged as an hashtag ad despite Jenner's compensation and the Federal Trade Commission law which requires paid posts on social media to be disclosed transparently. Fire Festival was a fraudulent luxury music festival founded by Billy McFarland, CEO of Fire Media Incorporated, and rapper Ja Rule. Three months after Netflix and Hulu released incriminating documentaries revealing the corrupt and unorganized preparations behind Fire Festival, Jenna apologized for her involvement during an interview with the New York Times. Jenna said, You get reached out to by people too, whether it be to promote or help or whatever, and you never know how these things are going to turn out, sometimes it's a risk, I definitely do as much research as I can, but sometimes there isn't much research you can do because it's a starting brand and you kind of have to have faith in it and hope it will work out the way people say it will. You never really know what's going to happen. The trustee for the Fire Festival bankruptcy sued Jenna, along with other artists and influencers associated with the festival, alleging that payments to influencers were part of the scheme to defraud investors. Jenna settled for $90,000. Chapter 7 Section 4, Pepsi Advertisement in April 2017 Pepsi cast Jenna as the star for the commercial advertisement in a role in which she used the beverage to make peace between police officers and protesters. This ad was criticized for trivializing the protests against police brutality, particularly as it affects African Americans. Pepsi pulled the ad within a day, and apologized to Jenna for putting her in this position. She was reportedly devastated by the ad although she had the right to approve the ad before it was released. According to the same source, Jenna's contract with Pepsi prohibited her from commenting on the fallout. Chapter 7, Philanthropy Jenna set up an eBay account where she auctions old clothing to raise money for Children's Hospital Los Angeles. The Kardashian and Jenna sisters used eBay, in this way to raise money for their charities in 2013. Jenna joined her family in a charity yard sale on November 10, 2013. Proceeds from the sale were donation matched and sent to Share Our Strength, No Kid Hungry and the Greater Los Angeles Fisher House Foundation. Jenna and Kim Kardashian attended a Christmas Eve visit with the kids at Children's Hospital Los Angeles on Tuesday, December 24, 2013. Jenna joined Khloe Kardashian, Lil Twist, and the game at Pins Bowling Alley in Studio City, California, for a charity bowling game on January 19, 2014. The event was held to raise money for the Robin Hood Foundation, a non-profit for which the game pledged to raise one million U.S. dollars in donations. The Jenna sisters participated in singer Chris Brown's Two Kick In It for Charity Celebrity Kickball Games in Glendale, California, on July 19, 2014, and on August 16, 2014. Jenna, Ansel Elgort, Gigi Hadid, and Jenna's agent Ashley Gonzalez encountered unhoused model-slash-actor John Ekonomu in Venice Beach during a fashion shoot on January 31, 2015, a meeting which led to Ekonomu being signed to a two-management contract by company president Luke Brinker. On February 14, 2015, Jenna appeared at Mark Jacobs' bookmark store in New York City for the launch of Love Issue 13. 
she posed in a limited edition t-shirt sale to raise proceeds for designers against AIDS on her birthday in 2017, Jenna launched a birthday campaign and invited fans to donate $22 in honor of her turning 22 to charity, Water, a non-profit organization bringing clean and safe drinking water to people in developing countries. Jenna with her brand Zaza World launched merchandise that benefit coronavirus relief efforts, and 100% of the net profits went to Feeding America, the nationwide network of food banks which supports shelters, soup kitchens, and underserved communities. Chapter 8, Filmography Chapter 9 Section 1, As Herself Chapter 9 Section 2, As Actress Chapter 9 Section 3, Music Videos Chapter 9, Awards and Nominations